Hello everyone, it's Nick here, and I picked up quite a few things today, which reminds me, and it's not like a sure thing, but I'm probably going to stop doing these pickup videos for a few reasons. One, um, this video is meant for reviews, and of course music now, and I, you know, I, I'm mostly doing vlogs now. I mean, I haven't really done any other videos, because, I mean, I don't do the Famicom video stuff, but I mean, I wanted to go back to actual game reviews and stuff. If I can get my damn capture card working... I could, and it's, it's not the capture card, it's the program for the capture card. And Pinnacle Studio, that's the only program that works with it. I can't find any other program. Movie Maker, if I remember right, would, would record the video, but it won't export the audio. And when I'm recording, it doesn't record the audio, and that sucks because I'd like to know what I'm hearing in the game, you know. So, I don't know. So, that's another thing. Uh, but... Um, I got a VCR and DVD player all in one, and that's what my camera's standing on right now, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to try it out. Um, yeah, most stuff I got today was musical, or was it? Well, you'll see. I got a, another amplifier for my bass. It was 25 bucks. It's a tiny little bit amp, but it gets the job done. So now I can do some Sting covers, um, and that reminds me, I got a couple tapes for him. Um, I got, yesterday, I got... Fields of Gold. I didn't even know they had this on VHS, but I guess since it's on Blu-ray, or I mean Blu-ray, Laserdisc, it was probably Blu-ray back then, but not anymore. Um, yeah, I got that. Then I also got The Dream of the Blue Turtles. So yeah, I already have them on CD, but it's cool hearing them on tape. I mean, it's so cool. Now, I picked up, a, a, a gaming-wise, I picked up a couple interesting things. I've never seen anything like before. These are both PlayStation 2 games, but they're imported from Korea. Korea! Yeah, look at this. I've never owned Korean games before, but this is pretty fucking cool. Um, this is Need for Speed Underground, but um, this one is Winning 11 2008 by Konami. So that is pretty cool. And these were only a few bucks. I mean, it's, I mean, I can't imagine these things don't go for, you know, that cheap, but maybe they do. This one doesn't have the manual I just saw. And this one probably doesn't either. I like seeing like all the localization stuff. Oh no, no, no manual. So it's just the box in the game. But still, pretty cool deal. I'm probably gonna get rid of these. Maybe I don't know if anyone like really, really wants them. I might sell them. But um, those are pretty cool, right? Um, got a couple VHS to try. Um, I got Lethal Weapon 4. I, I'm trying to get them all on like Blu-ray and VHS and everything. So. Um, then we got The Last Boy Scout, and I saw a scene of this on YouTube and it looked good, so I don't, I don't know if it is, I don't know if it's not, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's a good movie, I don't know if it's bad, I, I'm gonna watch it tonight, and gonna try if this thing works, and find out. So, that's pretty cool. Um, another thing, uh, is that it? Well, only other thing I can really show you guys is, my dad got these three, like, VHSs that were cassette tapes that were distributed by Shell gas stations. So, um, it's funny, the one that I, that near the house that I grew up in, uh, got torn down. I think they're rebuilding it, but wow, I mean, that's another part of my childhood gone, so that sucks. Anyways, um, he, I told him I can convert the tapes into MP3, so, you know, he said, hey, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Um, uh, I have that tape from when I was in kindergarten, like the Great Body Shop, and I want to get that one on tape too, because eventually these tapes are going to wear out, and this great body shop one, you can't get them anymore. I mean, we got them in class, but luckily we were able to keep them, because, I mean, and yeah, the songs are kind of corny, because they're talking about, you know, like, don't, you know, like, I love the song 15 Ways to Stay Out of Trouble, even though I obviously already know all the stuff in the song, like, you know, don't let strangers in your house and stuff. You know, it's it brings back a lot of memories, and the songs themselves are actually pretty cool. I mean, like, 15 Ways to Stay Out of Trouble, it's like this, you know, like, you got these backing vocals, you know, jazz vocals, you know, it's like bop de bop or something like that. I can't really explain it, but it's pretty cool. But I still, I mean, I still have the tape. It's got a crack in it, but oh my gosh, it still works after all these years. I mean, when I found this thing, it was like, oh my god, you know, I need that. Or, you know, I want to hear that again, you know, so... It's, and I, you know, when I heard that tape, it was like, it was like literally like 15 years since I last heard it, at least, probably more. And it was, it was so cool to hear that again. I mean, it, I mean, of course, again, the songs are corny, but they're good. They're good songs. The composition is really good. But anyway, so yeah, it's cool to have a, a working amp. I got this one from Guitar Center, not Craigslist. So if anything does happen, I can take it back. Wish I could 
show you guys, but it's kind of, I'll post it on Facebook, how about that? Um, oh, I did get another game. Fuck, how could I forget? And that, that's not even the end of it, too, but I got Zoop for Windows. I thought it was only a DOS game, but um, I tried to run the setup, and it, it won't do anything on my computer, so I'm, I'm assuming this game is just too new. It, it does mention, like, Windows 3.1, so... And I know, I know this game is awful, but the music's really good, and I was hoping I can get the actual MIDI files out of it. But, uh, because I can't get the DOS version to install, so... I, I saw that, and it was only 50 cents, so, I mean... And the guy I bought it from was like, you know, if it doesn't work, you can take it back and get a full reach mod or whatever. But, um, I'm not, I'm not doing that. This, okay, now, I, I go to the CD store, which is near the house I, gr I grew up in, you know, my childhood. But, um... The guy there is really free. There's two guys that work there, but they're both they're both really cool guys. But the one guy was like, you know, if it does, if it has any problems whatsoever, take it back. You get all your money back. So that is fucking awesome. You know, there's not many places that do that anymore. So that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, let me show you some one more thing before I go, because this kind of is gaming related. Um, my dad, there was this girl he knew from high school, and, um, no, they're not dating, just so you guys know. <laughs> Anyways, they, uh, she, she had all these floppy disks and stuff that she didn't want, so she gave them to my dad, who in turn gave them to me. I, I did find Wheel of Fortune Deluxe Edition on there, which is funny, because I didn't even know they made, that's, that's a game I had for the Super Nintendo growing up, but I didn't even know that they made a Super Nintendo, or a DOS version. Anyway, so I don't know what all is on these discs, but I, I guess we can look it through. Here's some labels for the for set floppy disks. Then there's that little advertisement for buying more Fuji things. I don't know. Well, I do support Japan, so I guess that's a start. This disc here says games. Now, I tried to put the Wheel of Fortune one in, but when I cl double clicked on the floppy drive bay on my computer, it like the Windows Explorer just locked up. So there's. A quiet, these are all like game discs, it looks like. They, they, most of them say games on them, so we'll have to see what's on them. Uh, they're, they're, I mean, I'm sure they're just like free metal games you can get online, but still, I mean, it's cool to have, you know, right? Um, oh, I didn't know the, the thing was slipping out from under, so let's put this back in. But that's not even all of it. That's not all. Um, I also got this whole freaking, like, look at this. Yeah, there's a shitload of discs in here. So if you want, to, if you want, we can take a look at these. If not, you can just stop the video now. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember seeing anything interesting on here. But let's check. Okay, we got personal property manager. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. I've been looking for that. General power of attorney. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Um, and I'm not making these titles up. These are actually um, home buyer's guide. Disc two. Um, here's a blank disc, I guess. Home Buyer's Guide Disc One. Yeah, I need to. I need a guide for that. Fuck Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I need this. Um, the card collector. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but what kind of cards? Like baseball cards, business cards. I mean, what? That that's funny. If, if there's people in this world that collect business cards, that, I mean, I'm not making fun of them or anything. I'm just saying it's funny. But people have weird hobbies, such as myself. Anyways, another blank disc. Here's a Microsoft one. Uh, let me see. Uh, Microsoft Money. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sure Microsoft knows a lot about money. And I'm sure that I can be sure because I live in the same freaking state that they're in. Anyways, another card collector thing. Family tree. Yeah, yeah. I guess we might need that. Um, personal companion. Trivia Sports Edition. Oh, so it's, so I guess that counts as a game, right? Right? Yeah. Um, another blank disc. Um, recipes. Oh yeah, well, I need recipes because I cook, you know. Card collectors again. Um, another card collectors. Another card collectors. Geez, how many are there? Um, black disc doesn't say anything on it. High speed CD-ROM device driver. Ooh, yeah, I might need that. Um, blank disc. Blank disc, blank disc, blank disc. PC health and fitness. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's some from my dad's work. Wow, that's that's interesting. Um, tax cut or something? Tax something. I can't read it. You guys want to read it? Here, transcribe this ancient writing for me. 
Yeah. Cannon, B blowjob printer driver. No, it's BJ, whatever that means. Printer driver. Um, some more cannon discs. Blank disc. More resume. Yeah, I might need that. Western digital hard drive. Data lifeguard tools. I hear, I hear they're not to be trusted, but I don't know. And then a couple other discs. Windows 3.1 disc number six. Then something else. Um, oh, more games. So yeah, let, I mean maybe we. I'll, I can let you guys know what's on these discs, hopefully. And uh, I think that is it for now. So I'm gonna go jam on the bass a little bit, get some dinner, go to sleep, and I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. I don't think I did. So. Peace out. And if anyone has any advice on getting that Zoop game to run, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I did try it in compatibility mode, but that doesn't work either. So maybe it just won't work on this computer. I don't know. Anyways, peace out.